I was asking opinions on Discord about this, and then someone asked how did I make it. So here's a tutorial. By the way, for macOS users, whenever I say Control, it's Command. Whenever I say Alt, it's Option. It's that simple, okay? Let's jump into the tutorial. Before we even start, it's important to set our Bitser channel to 32. The reason is avoiding color banding. Now let's make a new composition. I will call it Main. 1080p will work for personal preference 60 fps you don't have to copy this but you know do what you want let's start with the background new solid pg for background again names are not important and add that gradient ramp set the ramp shape to radial ramp put this roughly in the center of the composition and now let's choose the colors i will go for something blue as you saw in the beginning and then to change the spread of the color I will just change the end of ramp value, this value, not this one. Either going left or right doesn't matter. I think it's still too bright, so perfect. I like this a lot. Now let's create the text box. Oh, very important. Save, name the project however you want. And now if After Effects crashes, you still save progress with time. So I was saying, yeah, the text box. Shape tool, rounded rectangle tool to be precise and draw a rectangle however you want we will change the colors real quick again this is personal preference so i will not spend too much time talking about this very important align this to the center now with the cursor tool selected uh, try to change the color again press ok and you will see this handle this serves the purpose of spreading the color even more i will change this darker blue to something lighter as you can see this, the red stroke it's really cool, but I like matching colors more. So I will go for a bright blue. You can choose whatever you want and also make it bigger if you want. But I will go with two pixels. Now for the scale, doesn't really matter, but don't be too generous with it. Otherwise it will take too much space on the screen. We can rename this layer into box to keep things organized. Duplicate this layer and rename the second one into shine. Remove the stroke from the shine layer and add uh, CC light sweep shape smooth width increase it to your preference sweep intensity zero edge intensity I will increase it a little but you don't have to very important light reception must be set on the cutout and the color well whatever color you choose hopefully a matching one you know not a random one like this now let's add deep glow to the shine layer radius 100 exposure to the reason i'm lowering the radius is because i want the light to be very focused on this and we will increase the exposure even more and now set the track mat to box and make it visible again this way the glow doesn't go outside the box bounding it's personal preference but you can see before after before after i like it this way speaking of glow outside boundaries add deep glow to the box as well you can leave the radius as it is but i would decrease the exposure to 0.1 actually decrease the radius as well i think this line is too similar to everything so i will just change the color a little bit play with the colors a little to see what works for you very important make sure this is set to zero i almost forgot now let's animate this line go here press this button and put it here you can also drag this doesn't really matter just make sure you're not going to the edge otherwise it will drop down not very good in my opinion you can do whatever you want though make sure you're at zero zero click on the stopwatch then press u to make the keyframes visible go a couple seconds further and move this to the right actually i think it's too fast so i will just leave it at 10 seconds and the text box is ready except for the text no, actually i will increase the exposure of the glow on the box and just play around with the settings don't copy what i'm doing see what works for you this is very important because not everything can be the same not everything is the same really your monitor will be different your pc will be different maybe you want to change something to save some time rendering just play around with settings i'm giving you the idea there are plenty of tutorials out there but just copying the values is never a good idea that's why i'm making this one in fact, I'm not happy with the text box color, so I'll make it brighter and closer to 
cyan. Yeah, I like these colors more. Once you're happy with the box, you can start thinking about the text. Control T for the text tool. Snake text box. I will use the Montserrat font. You can use whatever font you want. I don't I, honestly, I, I don't even have to say it. It's obvious, right? Montserrat semi bold uh, 70. 70. Mm, yeah, 70 will do. Make sure the paragraph is on center text, then align it to the actual center and move it around with your arrow keys, maybe holding down shift to see where it fits the most. You can color it white. And now let's animate it. Drop down menu, text animate, blur, opacity, position. You don't have to follow this order or to copy these exact settings, but I like these ones. 60 for position. Make sure it's the second value and not the first one. Zero for opacity. This is kind of mandatory for the effect. And blur, I wouldn't go over 15, honestly. 12 should do the job. Now go into range selector, go at zero, zero, and click the stopwatch. Go a couple seconds into the video and set the offset to 100. Personally, I don't like the animation when it's character by character. So I'll go into advanced and change it to words. I think it's too slow, so we'll just, you know, make it faster. Slick text box, slick text box. Yeah, this works. Just select this keyframe, keyframe assistant, easy ease, or if you have it, press F9. Now we go where it's actually visible, move it, move the copy down a little, double click and write bottom text, which in my case is tutorial. And we change the font to does yellow work with these colors? Yeah, it will work just fine. No, bit too big, my bad. Again, don't copy the exact values, just make sure it fits your text box. Of course, the animation is too slow and also it starts too early. So we just move the keyframes past the one second mark and I did the wrong thing, my bad. Make sure it's the tutorial keyframes, not the slick text box keyframes. Now the text is almost done. We can pre-compose it move all attributes into the new composition. Now I will add deep glow to the text as well. As you can see, it's too freaking bright. So 0 0.15 and now the radius is too big. So maybe 50, still too big, 25, still too big, 15, marvelous. I don't like the color of this yellow with the glow. So we'll just make it a bit more orange, slightly, absolute cinema. And the animation, it's done. How to make it 3D? Well, with a camera. Make everything 3D except for the background, unless you want to animate it as well and you want to play with the depth of field. Well, that's if you know how to do that, you don't need me, honestly. So to keep things simple, just don't touch the background. New camera, whatever settings will do, but 35 millimeters should be the default one, either 35 or 50, it doesn't matter. And now the funny part, transform, Animate point of interest and position. Make sure you're at zero, zero. Select this tool, the orbit around cursor tool and change the position a little bit, just like that. Doesn't have to be super dramatic, but just enough. I will also decrease the zoom with the dolly toward cursor tool. Now we can go to the end of the composition, increase the zoom a little bit and also make the camera rotate again. And this is basically how I did it, more or less, just playing around with it until it worked in my eyes. Render time will increase drastically with the 3D camera, but I think it's worth it. I think the animation is too slow, so I will just move this to 5 seconds instead of 10. And since the composition is too long now, I will just press N, Control shift x and as a final touch, I will add a fade in. New adjustment layer, I will rename it into fade in and now I will add a transform effect to it. I will go 30 frames forward, then cut everything else. Opacity, animate, set it to zero, press U, go to the last part. So you can see, you don't have to press U, but at least you can see that you're doing things right if you do it. Now set this to 100 and we have this simple fade in animation. Personally, I don't like how fast it goes, so I will make it a little bit slower and also easy ease the last keyframe again. And that's it. Doesn't get much simpler than that. This was my editing tutorial. You can call me Eamon. See ya.